Hey, 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 how you guys doing? I just wanted to share words of wisdom. You know, a topic about Kanye West being canceled by the Jewish community. And how, you know, this topic is very influential in our times today. Now, Kanye West got canceled, right? By the Jewish community. And due to that, Balenciaga, um, Adidas, um, Def Jam, you know, the list goes on and on, JC Penny, and all of these um, big, big organizations that he had contracts with have dropped him. Now, I want people to understand that this story is similar to, you know, the same kind of story with Russia and Ukraine when Russia, of course, attacked Ukraine and then there was sanctions by NATO. However, Russia prevailed and the sanctions just bounced off. Matter of fact, the sanctions made Russia more richer than poor, so it backfired. So what I'm saying is, this is also a next plan, and I think Kanye West also wanted this to happen so that he can be more relevant, right? Because the fact that the Jewish community can deliberate and cancel him will now show so many people. It's like basically saying, oh, the Jewish community is so powerful and then after you know they show their might because they're like well we can cancel you or we can decide to hold you but in some ways many people are going to come into realization that so many things have affected them due to this type of power and that maybe in the music industry is not about talent it's about who you know, like who likes you or who wants to cancel you or who doesn't want to cancel you. So at the end of the day, you know, this is showing a lot of, you know, problems in the deep industry, you know, because if changes can take place this drastically, this is part one. Listen to part two coming soon.